Come on, let's go. Move up and down, up and down. Good, good. Stand your face every day like this! Let's go! You gotta punch hard! On your mark, get set. I felt it was necessary for me to say something to the house. At the weigh-in, I made a choice to try to send myself home. Obviously, we tried to throw it, and still, Justin was sent home. And I couldn't do anything to change that. So I felt like it was important for me to talk to the house and tell them where I was at so we can move on to this next week. Obviously, this weigh-in was really surprising. I tried to take matters in my own hands because I felt like it was my time and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And uh, besides my own dad, it's hard to see Justin go home. He's the one person I would have given up everything for him to stay. But I'm, I'm trusting that there, there's a reason why I'm still here and that's why I'm still here and I'm not giving up. And I apologize for what happened. But I learned a really good lesson. I can just see in everybody's faces how sad it was that we, we lost such a great friend and how miserable we felt with what happened tonight. i tell you one of the reasons why Kaylee, she was more anxious to go is because she's so tired of this game play, this all this garbage that happens in this house. Let's forget that it's a game. We're all gonna eventually go home. Let's just enjoy what we're doing here. Forget all the promises we made to each other about trying to keep them here because we were the ranch or we were the Ridge team. Even though we're different colors right now, we are all still one. Every day we get up, let's, let's thank God that we're here at this house having a chance to, to fight for our lives, and let's don't forget that. There's no way you can replace Justin at the ranch. Good night. To lose my partner, my captain, you know, my teammate. It's hard for me. I need to learn how to rely on myself again. I need to be strong. I love Allison more than the next person, but when you see her in the middle of the week, it is never good. Looking around at all of you, it's clear to see that you have already made the change of a lifetime. All of you combined have lost a total of 1,118 pounds. Hundreds of thousands of people are desperate for a chance at The Biggest Loser. We asked 11 teams to join us this season and you were among them. That moment when I told you you had all made the show, I can only imagine what was running through your minds. I remember screams, laughing, tears, but don't take my word for it. Have a look. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All of you have committed to being healthier. So it's up to each and every one of you to take this day and promise yourselves that you're gonna go forward. So when you go home, you can share that new spirit with the people who love you. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait a little bit before you oh do that. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to the biggest loser. We're, We're on, on the, the biggest, biggest loser. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you forget sometimes where you've come from. And to be able to see a video of 
day one, it kind of puts everything into perspective. It, it makes you sit back and say, wow, you know, you can't even imagine how far you've come in such a short amount of time. And it's like, we're not even the same people anymore. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> see, in the moment we found out we were gonna be on The Biggest Loser, you don't really see the transition through the weeks of working out. You need to sit back and really enjoy those to really appreciate you know, the gift that we've been given. Oh my gosh, this is like winning the lottery. It's the biggest gift I think I've ever been given in my life. And I am so excited, so ready to go. I am grabbing it and I'm running with it. I am not going back, that's right. It really did bring me back to that day in that hotel where I didn't even know really who I was at that point. I kind of had given up on life, and it was just like a one last ditch effort to do something good for myself. It's just so crazy to see yourself such a short time ago and how far you've come, and it was a real motivator for me. Watching the video of ourselves from the day that we found out that we made The Biggest Loser was so surreal. I see how big I was and I see how much I've changed since then, it's the greatest feeling in the world, and I just feel so blessed to be here every day that I'm here. We're so happy that you have this opportunity to really help us all, to help you inside, to be the, the, the woman that you want to be. And I already believe that you are. After seeing the video, it just kind of made me focus on what the big picture is, and that's focus on yourself, losing weight, changing your life. and. That was something I really needed to just kind of refocus on why I'm here and that I still want to be here. This is going to be one they will never, ever, ever forget. Rulin, what struck you the most watching that video? Just every one of us with a new leash on life and the start of something that is more amazing than we ever could have comprehended. I had no idea what it would take to become what we are today. And it's mind-boggling to see how far we've come in a short amount of time. I waited for that moment for so long, and it was the greatest moment of my life. Every single day is worth it. And I'm just, I feel so lucky to be standing next to all of you every day. There were 11 teams on campus. Did you ever think about the 12th team? The one who didn't make it, the people who got so close and didn't make it here. Well, if you're wondering, let's ask them. Like, what's happening? Some kind of shenanigans. I'm not in the mood for this. Oh, here we go. Here's another situation where the game could change. Come on in. Oh, my God. thought about the other people, the ones who didn't make the show? The 12th team, the people who got so close. Well, if you're wondering, let's ask them. Come on in. Oh. Oh. Gosh, they're, they look like kind of how we did in the beginning. And I'm thinking to myself, I can't, can, I can barely hit like five pounds a week. These people are going to hit like 20s when they get on the scale, you know? I would like to introduce you to the 12th team. Vance and Leanne are the white team. My name is Vance. I'm from Ogden, Utah. And uh, I came here today to try to take back my life and make my quality of life a whole lot better. I'm gonna be going to school to be a life flight technician. Right now, like, I would not qualify for that job because I take up too much space in the helicopter. I am here because my son asked me to come, and I would do anything for him. My struggle with my weight has been my entire life. I say my shape shaped my life, and in a lot of ways, it really, it really did. I'm really proud of Vance. You know, he has such heart. He works, he works out so hard. I don't know how he does what he does. And so, this is gonna be exciting. That day, I had the opportunity to tell all 11 teams that you had made it to campus. I also visited with Vance and Leanne. 
We have 11 teams that are going to the ranch. And you guys are team number 12. The reason I wanted to come talk to you about it is because it's sort of the thing that you think about. What happens to that team number 12? Do they go home and give up? Try again next season? Or do you make that change right now? And to that end, we're going to give you a chance to get on campus. If you do it at home. Do you guys think you can do that? Yeah. So Vance, Leanne, this is your moment. <laughs> your time has finally arrived. And here's your challenge. The person on campus with the lowest percentage of weight loss is Kaylee. Kaylee's total percentage of weight loss is 25.32%. If you can beat that number, you're back in this game. Fans, we're going to start with you. Come on up. Go, Vance. As I'm walking up to the scale, I'm just so nervous and scared and maybe a little bit disappointed in my efforts at home because I know that I maybe didn't do as well as I could have while I was at home. Vance, your starting weight was 379 pounds. Beat Kaylee and earn a spot on campus. You need to have lost more than 95 pounds. Your current weight is... 95 that you weren't gonna make it yeah I did how's it been for you it's it's such a struggle I don't have um, every moment of my day focused towards weight loss and um, it's it's been really difficult but I'm learning and I mean 30 pounds is 30 pounds and mm -hmm. yeah Celebrate it. so, it's amazing it's, it's exciting that I'm, I'm on my way down and um, I'll be there. I'll be that 95 soon enough. First of all, 30 pounds, dude. That is amazing. You keep you keep going because every single step that you take, you're going in the right direction. And when I lost 112 pounds at home, I made mistakes, but I kept pushing through those. One step, one choice at a time. Just keep doing your thing and the weight is going to come off. And we wish you the best of luck, Vance, and we look forward to seeing you at the finale. So thank you, Vance. Thank you. It's a bittersweet moment. On one hand, I didn't make it onto the ranch, but on the other hand, it's 30 pounds. And I've done that from home. All that's important is that I've started this journey. We have one member of the white team left to weigh in, and that is Leanne. You have a chance to earn a spot on campus. Let's see how you did. Go, Leanne. Woo! Walking up to the scale was really an emotional thing. I didn't think it would be. It kind of caught me off guard because I knew what I had done, and I was pretty sure of where I would be. But then it was going to be for everybody to see. Leanne, your starting weight was 315 pounds in order to beat Kaylee and have a spot on campus. You need to have lost more than 79 pounds. Your current weight is. It's 45 pounds. Yeah, And I'm thrilled with 45 pounds. Would I have loved the opportunity to be here full time? Absolutely. You guys have an amazing opportunity, and you've had that to be able to have this be your full time job. But I'm doing this in my life, and it's slower, but, it's, but I'm making it work. To be at 270, oh my goodness, for me that's, that's phenomenal. I haven't been 270 since I was probably 24 years old. We said when we came, we knew that they were going to look amazing. We knew they were. And they, you guys do, oh my goodness, it's fabulous. Um, that's that's going to help motivate me to know that I can be there. I can be there. I mean, I'm inspired by you. I am, by both of you. And I was really hoping that, you know, both of you would have got it. To be on the ranch, to be with the contestants, 
it was a very inspiring thing. And to know that we have their support will be nothing but help. Once again, you are in four separate teams. Not only do you control your own fate, but you control that of your teammates. So it's pretty important that you not drop the ball, especially for today's pop challenge. Two members of each team will compete in today's pop challenge. You will hold a board between the two of you and balance two team colored balls on that board. You have to take 10 of them from there and drop them in those baskets. I suggest you play to win, because the team that comes in last doesn't just lose this pop challenge, they lose something they've learned to rely on here at the ranch. Because the team that loses this challenge will spend the week off campus. The losing team gets sent away for one week. And from personal experience, it hasn't really been that, that much fun. But there is a prize for the team that comes in first. The team that wins today's challenge will win a one minute advantage at the challenge this week. Okay. If you all understand, let's get started. Take your positions. People not playing, stay here with me. Since day one, I've always been on the ranch. So the idea of me having to leave the ranch absolutely terrifies me. On your mark, get set, go! No, 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 no. You gotta go down. You drop both and have to start over. Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. Straight green on going slow and steady. Wait, wait. And the green team with the first one, they've got one point. Come on, guys. One point for the blue team. That's one point for the red team. One point for the black team. Everyone's on the board. Green's got two. Yeah, Green's got both in. That's three points for the green team. Green, green team. Yeah. I'm really surprised, actually. We're not even really talking much. We're just, we just kind of zoned out, and we just kind of went. There you go, guys. Great job. Green team looking to win this Yeah, one. baby. Green yeah. team with a big lead on the other team. This is really harder than we thought it was. And we would start with two balls on our platform, but we'd only end up with one ball left on the platform. We really didn't think it was going to be as hard as it was. Black team has six points. Green team with six points. All right, come on, let's get these two. We heard that the green team was in the lead, but there was still plenty of time for us to win. That's eight for the black team! Black team, you're tied with green team! Let's focus. Black team, green team, neck and neck with a chance to win this pop challenge. Green team, black team competing to win a one minute advantage in the challenge. Yeah, go, go, go! Green gets another one. That's nine for green, nine for black. They're neck and neck. It's anyone's game. Gonna be off campus all week. Who's it gonna be? Red team is seven. Blue team with a slight edge over the red team. Can the red team catch up? I'm like, great, here we are again against the red team. I mean, you know, they beat us by like seconds in the last challenge. That's eight for the red team. And so today I am not going down by the red team again. <laughs> That's another one for the blue team. They're at nine. Red team is eight. Wait, wait, steady, steady, steady. Whoa. Nine for the red team. They need one more to win, blue team. And that's it, the blue team. They have finished this pop challenge, which means they are out of last place. 
once that ball went into the basket, I felt like 150 pounds of pressure just fell into the basket. Congratulations to the green team. You won this pop challenge, which means you have a one minute advantage at the challenge this week. I'm sorry to tell you, red team, you have finished in the last place, which means you have a very difficult challenge ahead of you this week. I'm really scared right now. I don't want to leave. I don't, I don't want to have to pack and go away to a place that I have no idea where we're going. This is like the worst thing that could have happened to me this week. Best of luck to both of you, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Good Allison. Luck. Thank Bye. you. Coming up. Go! The ultimate Easter egg hunt. Let's go, Green. Come on, man. Red Team's going to have to run. they got to beat Kaylee and Austin. And what's inside that golden egg? Jen. Oh boy. Jen and I lost the pop challenge and because of that we have to go away for a week. Ladies. Hi. Hi. I'm not good with change but at the same time I know that if we set our minds to what we need to do we're gonna do it. You ladies have a thousand dollars and a menu. I'll be back in 15 minutes with your decisions. We have food options. This is probably the most important part don't you think? Yeah. So we can shop for our own groceries. Dot Kitchen with all Vegas Loser food, $500. Mm -hmm. Private chef for a week? That's $700. It's not worth it. Yeah. This week, Courtney and I are on a budget, and we have $1,000 to spend. I really think that a membership at a local gym is key. Oh, it's no, vital. That's, it's without I it. I mean, I'm checking that right now. Without a question, hey, we have to do we that. We have to do that. That's. We had a menu of options, you know, what kind of food we were going to be eating, and different other luxuries. We, we definitely, we need Brett for a day. Mm -hmm. We just do. The, the only thing that I could think of that would be actually a lot of fun would be a massage. I'm down with a massage. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna throw it out there that I would love to talk to my family. Okay, 300, 400, um, this is 500, 650, 800, and then this is, so we're over by 50. Well, we don't no, need no, a no. restaurant. The restaurant's out. Great to have the options to pick from. It was uh, hard to make certain decisions, especially on a budget. So I think we were more strategic as how we went about it. It depends on how you want to do this, because to have a trainer for a day, $200 for the day. Right. $200 a day to have a trainer and have Brett come out, it, it's quite steep. Um, we're here at week 13, and you know, if we can't stand on our own two feet and take what has been taught to us, that's not that good. I mean, we, we, have, to, we have to be able to do this on our own. All right, let's do it. Ladies, your time is up. Hi. Hi. So you got $1,000 to start with. So let's start with the necessities. What did you choose for food? We truly believe that we can shop for our own groceries and make our own food and be fine. We know what we eat. We prepare our own food. So, you know, this is something that is a no-brainer for us. So you're 300 down. You had $700 left to play with. What did you decide on next? Obviously, we need a gym membership. I mean, that, that is key. 600 down, just mm -hmm. like that. Yep. Most so definitely. that leaves you 400 left. Yep. It's really important to us to be able to talk to our families and, and our friends. And we, we don't have any access to phones here, so we're actually going to take an hour worth of phone calls instead of 30 minutes. So that's $800 you've spent so far. What happens next? We are working out so hard. You know, we do need some time to pamper ourselves a little bit. And so we decided, you know, to get massages at a local spa. So you got one each? Mm -hmm. So that's another $100. You have $100 left? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last thing that we chose was just another kind of luxury thing, I guess, a night out at a restaurant. We have $50 left over, but that's okay. You know, we don't need any other luxuries. And um, the rest of the time, we're going to spend our time in the gym. But there's one important element that you are not including in this week. You've chosen not to see Brett this week at all. And he was certainly an item on that menu. It's always well, you, baby. <laughs> well, OK. Well, hold on. Does that mean that was Jen's choice? It was, it was something that I had brought up. One of the things you talk about when you go home for real is that that's when you're going to have to deal without the trainers. What we decided was taking the knowledge that we've learned here at the ranch and use a gym, which we have access to the entire week. I feel that I need him this week because I'm going through a huge plateau with my body, and I feel like I need a trainer. And I didn't speak up to Jen and tell her that I needed that. 
Well, ladies, your choices have been made. I'll take your menus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Keep in mind, this week, it does come down to the two of you. There are only two members of the red team. If you lose the weigh-in this week, there's no deliberation, there's no vote. One person will be safe, and one person won't be. All right, ladies, good luck. Enjoy your trip, enjoy your luxuries, and the challenge ahead of you, you better go get packed. This week, I'm not feeling confident. I don't have a trainer. I have one teammate. <sighs> Let's go. Jen has all the confidence in the world, so um, I'm going to have to kind of feed off of her a little bit and her confidence and just hope for the best for the entire week. Yep. Come in. Hello. Why are the bags packed? We've been shipped away because we lost the challenge. Today's the worst day. Today we had to tell Brett that we didn't choose to have a trainer and we chose to have a gym membership instead and kind of just do our own thing this week. We have a budget for a week. You have luxuries. You could pick any of them. You could pick your team trainer for a day, a membership at a local gym per person, shopping for a new outfit, massage at a local spa. We decided to go on a membership at a local gym. What about the trainers? To train with you, it's $200 a day. And we only have $1,000 to spend. Um, Where else is the money going? Getting massages at a local spa, you know, a night out at a restaurant to give us an opportunity to Hold on. Are you kidding me? When I'm seeing the massage in this, I'm just like thinking, are, you know, what are you guys thinking? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think that's a good decision. I think that's a bad decision, if I, it, to be honest. To get a massage and to be on phone calls versus get in and go through training, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Some of the things you can't get across over a phone is the connection. That, that extra emotional motivation that you guys need to like push you an extra 45 minutes into the workout. I'm so scared about this week, you have no idea. So why do you, why do you choose something different? I don't, I don't know. Courtney's hit a wall. And this was really my week to work with her one-on-one -on -one to figure that out. When you hit a wall and you're trying to do whatever you can and the numbers aren't coming up, it is so frustrating. She needs support, so I wish I could be there, but the game has changed. We need a pen and paper. That's what we need right, right now. Done and done. I'm really scared right now, but at this point, there's nothing we can do, and um, we have to live with the decisions that we made, and I really think that we're gonna be okay as long as we follow direction and we do what we are supposed to do. Do your intervals, do your intervals. Your, try to be in bed by like 9, 30, 10 if okay. you guys can. They make a decision, decision's made, let's move forward with it. That's how I operate, so it's getting them ready to do it on their own. Period. We're going to make you proud, I promise you. <laughs> Don't worry, Brett. I get worried sometimes. Don't worry. Wait a minute. What is this? <laughs> is this right? Are we in the right place? Oh, oh my God. God. Seriously? Come on, let's go. <laughs> what is this? I honestly can't believe my eyes. I cannot believe that this is where we're staying after we've lost the pop challenge. It is the most gorgeous house that I've ever seen in my life. What? Oh <laughs> my gosh. Are you kidding me? It's like Christmas morning. We can't believe that this house is all for us. <laughs> Kids. Hey. What's going on? Not much. Hey, blue team. Hi. How's everything? What, what's going on? Uh, we had a pop challenge yesterday, and if you lost, you had to be removed from campus and go to another location. Courtney and Jen are the ones that are off campus. So they're off campus now? They're yeah. off campus. And now does Brett go with them? No. no. What, why is that? They had a certain amount of dollars to spend with their, for their whole week's package. So for their food, for their training, for their gym membership, spa treatments, whatever it was that they decided to make their package of. 
and they did not buy bread. You can buy your trainer and they did not? No. Did they buy spa treatments? That I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh. Is this happening? This is definitely <laughs> happening. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. Oh my gosh. The girls at the ranch are missing out. Oh, they're going to they be would, jealous. They are oh very jealous. Yeah. Hard. Come on, let's go harder! Let's go! I'm really angry at my team for throwing the way in. My journey here is done. I am not a game player. I'm gonna come in today and beat the crap out of them. Ten seconds, harder! Push, push, two, one. But Kaylee in particular is on my hit list tonight, definitely. Come on, let's go harder! Five! We're going, we're getting right back on in 10 seconds. It's gonna get harder. Everything here is gonna get harder. I'm not giving up. You know, I could have been like, okay, well, green team through the way in and after all my hard work. You know, that's, that's spinning in my face if you wanna know the truth, you know? It is. You start out on this journey, finish it. Last week, I made a mistake in thinking that I was ready to go home and I'm not. I wanna be here. And in the process, I lost Kara's trust. And now I want to prove to her that I do want to be here and that I am worth her trust and her efforts. To the end. Come on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Up. So Minute and a half, three, and then four, we'll get started. Five. Mo, what's going on? The cardio, I'm loving that I'm stepping up, but I miss boxing. I know in life, whatever it is I do to lose my weight, I've got to love it. And right. I know I love that. You're right. I'm like, I want to get back to, I, to loving it here. And, you know, you did something kind of revolutionary just now. You've expressed your needs. And did the friggin' world end? And what are we going to do right now? Go to box. That's right. Exactly. Yes, again. Boom. Yes, again. Pop, pop, yes! Hips, hips, good. Hips, hips, good, again. Pop, 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 again. I miss boxing, I miss fighting, and I'm loving this moment right now because not only am I doing what I love to do, but I, I feel I made a breakthrough with my trainer. One, two, three, two, again. Yes! I am starting to love it here again. One, two, back foot! Back foot! Yes! Uh, uh, uh. I'm ready to go again. Pop, pop! One, two, pop, pop! One, two, go! Boy, that's a good one. I've got my hands on an Olympic gold medalist. It's all I keep thinking about. It's really, he comes into the gym. I don't care that he's got a black shirt on. I'm like, come on, come on, Ruin. What are we gonna do today? Let's do something else. So I'm gonna let you stand here. I'm gonna try to get Rulin to do a handstand on this wall. And let me tell you, he is still over 300 pounds. That is a very hard thing that I'm gonna ask him to do. Hope I don't break the floor. You're not gonna break the floor. You've got the strength. Just don't got the knowledge. When you're dealing with someone that is a supreme athlete like this, it's like they need that. That drives them to keep going it will give him so much more mental strength. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ruin, stand up. <laughs> when I started, you know, I'm like, ah, you know, I, I don't think I can do it. I need you to lift my legs up. And, you know, Bob just simply stepped back and said, nope, it's up to you to figure this out. That was the best one you did. You're still, you're still, that was, the, that was a good one. Throw those legs up there, Rulin. And then that just, it drives that motor in me that says, you know what, you can. And you need to feel this out and, you know, don't, you know, run up and, and crash through the wall and break it down. You know, figure this out. You know, figure out the motions. Figure out where your hands need to be. Come on, Rulin. What? I got closer and closer and closer, and I figured out my strength was there. I figured out my balance was there. And then I'm building the confidence in myself to say, you know what, you can do it. You can. Come on, Ruin. <sighs> He's up! 
He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! Being able to do the, the handstand, it gives me another level of confidence every day. It's just, it's almost like a rebirth of, of walking out and just feeling my body becoming healthier and stronger and, and happier and just feeling more alive. It's just, it's a, it's a feeling that spreads as you just feel more accomplished in everything you do. I believe that you can do anything. I mean, I want to be ruling when I grow up. Here we are in downtown Los Angeles at the Animo Jefferson Charter Middle School. Hey, everybody! With the help of Subway, we are here to teach these kids today about the benefits of diet and exercise. So we're going to work out today. You guys want to do a Biggest Loser workout? Yeah. yeah. It's an epidemic now with childhood obesity, and we're going to do what we can to help. Move! Everybody down on the ground. Good. It was important for we could do exercise because you get to move your body, have fun. Yes, that's good. That's good. These kids need to learn something now or else I'm going to be seeing them on Biggest Loser Season 25. We have these really cool fit kits from Subway. And there's all kinds of neat things in here to help you eat right and exercise. Hey, you guys, are you enjoying your fresh fit meal? How about $10,000 going to your school today? <laughs> Courtesy of Subway. It's an amazing gift that uh, Subway provided to us. The $10,000 will be so important for our school and being able to continue with activities like the one we did today. This is just a great step for them on their path to college leadership and life. That's what we're here to do, to make sure that every kid is successful and to be a part of transforming education in this community. Biggest Loser and Subway, we are committed to helping kids as much as you guys are, so it just feels like a, a great fit for us to be here today. $10,000 in an underprivileged school can go a long way, so thanks Subway. I think these kids are in really good hands. Thank you so much. Thank you. great because this is really gonna help us get a really good burn. I do know that we're gonna be okay without Brett. I, I mean, it sucks, but we're gonna push each other this week, and that's just the bottom line. One of the great things about being out here in Ojai is that we can go hiking. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. The hiking trails are amazing. We have to push each other. We don't have anyone else to push us this week, so. Mm -hmm. Looking back on our decisions this week, you know, I would definitely go back and choose Brett if I could. Uh, but the bottom line is, is I can't. So what matters now is that Jen and I do what we have to do to make sure that we lose enough weight. Ready? All right, here we go. Adding a gear. I'm going to add one, two, then three, okay? Courtney and I are really very disciplined at this point in the game. You know, we're very strong. Let's go a little faster. 100 RPM. We've been walking to the gym, doing our two spin classes, you know, working out a little bit more, sweating a little bit more, and then walking back home. 90 seconds left on this hill. What do you think we should make for dinner? So I'm thinking maybe we do like a grilled chicken salad. At 13 weeks, if Courtney and I can't do this stuff on our own, I mean, good luck. You know, we have to be able to stand on our own two feet. We were looking at the um, swordfish salad. Mm -hmm. So would we be able to get that without the walnut oil? Extra greens, just grilled, just plain. Extra lime on the extra side. Lime. We really need to stay focused this week. Here's the swordfish salads, oh, extra yes. greens. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you. And we can't let the distractions of how nice everything is here. We have homemade bread and butter get in the way of what we need to do. We would love to have it, but we really can't. And what we need to do is lose a lot of weight this week. Here's to our girl date. Absolutely. And to winning this weigh-in, too. Mm. I'm ready for the weigh-in. I know Courtney's ready for the weigh-in. I do believe that Jen and I are really going to prove a point this week. We're going to celebrate the Easter season. 
In fact, there's a movie coming out this Friday entitled Hop, starring Russell Brand and James Marsden. It's the story of the Easter Bunny's son. The movie is basically a story of self-discovery, which is something all of you know a little bit about. Of course, Easter is also about discovering something else. Eggs. You are going on the mother of all Easter egg hunts. We are standing in a field with 5,000 dyed eggs. Oh, my god. They are dyed in your team colors. Your job is to find your team colored eggs, bring them back here, place them in your team colored crates. Each team needs to collect 600 team colored eggs. The red team, there are two of you, so you have to find 400 eggs. In past Easter egg hunts, basically what I do is I sit down in the middle and I make a pile of eggs and I just eat all the candy all day. So this is gonna be a very different Easter egg hunt for me. And because Easter egg hunts are supposed to be fun, every team that finishes will participate in an advanced screening of the movie Hop. Oh, awesome. yeah, There's a great reason to finish and even better reason to finish first because every member of the winning team gets two tickets to the world premiere of Hop. Wow. Who wouldn't want to go to a red carpet movie premiere? I mean, hello, hello. That sounds unbelievable. These are some amazing prizes, but there is also a prize for one individual. Among the thousands of eggs out here in this field, every egg hunt has to have one of these. A golden egg. You find it, and you get a prize worth its weight in gold. What's in it? Immunity. A new car. She said it's worth its weight in gold. Pounds. I got to find that egg. Green team, at the Pop Challenge this week, you won a one-minute head start. So we'll get you started first. All right, green team, you get a minute head start on your mark. Get set. Go. Coming up, the race is on. Let's go, Green. Come on, now. Come on. In the ultimate Easter egg hunt. This is like the Easter egg hunt from hell. And one contestant will claim their golden prize. And later. What? A shocking weigh-in. You do whatever you want. Find out who will be caught cheating on their diet. It's It's not going to pay off. In the first hour of The Biggest Loser. The team that loses this challenge will spend the week off campus. The red team loses the pop challenge, forcing them to make some tough decisions. You can buy your trainer and they did not? Which could cost them in the end. Coming up at the weigh-in. What? You're totally wrong. One contestant's confession sends the trainers over the edge. It's It's not going to pay off. All right, green team, you get a minute head start on your mark. Get set, go. Glad we have a minute. (laughs) We're going to burn a lot of calories doing this. Having a minute head start is great in this challenge. We're going to be able to get back with a load of eggs before anybody else even starts. Kaylee, when you get up there, just drop them, and I'll put them in when I get back. Ten seconds. And the hunt has begun. Everyone keeping an eye out for the golden egg. There'll be a lot of blue ones over here. Ah. Irene, the first one back for the blue team. 10 that Irene bought back. Anna, the first one back for the black team. Ruin back for the black team. No one's found the golden egg. It's still out there. 140 for green. 55 for black. 75 for blue. 60 for red. Green is a big lead. They're looking to win this challenge. They used every second of that minute head start. One thing I'm noticing during this challenge is black and blue team, they're kind of low on the eggs, and I realize that they're looking for this golden egg first. Well, let's take this as an advantage for us and to stay way ahead of everybody while they all kind of fight over that egg. Black team clearly with one goal in mind. They are looking for that golden egg. Knowing uh, that the ground and the cow manure and the dirt is all black, you're going to have to really work for the black eggs compared to some of the other colors. And so black team, our number one goal is to go out there and see if we can find the golden egg. Here comes Courtney. 
Irene and Ken. Olivia's up there hunting for that golden egg. I'm thinking there's no way this golden egg is down in the basin area of the playing field. It's going to be up on the side of that hill where the terrain is more difficult. I found it! Olivia found the golden egg. Oh! Olivia! All right, Olivia! <laughs> Snatch that thing right up, because this egg is mine! <laughs> Rock it out, Liv. Good job. Here it goes. I'm just like so excited because I know it's something great. Nice job, Obi. Let's go, Green. Come on, there. Ten left for Green. The red team turned it around. Let's see how many Jen has. With ten left to find, the green team is going all the way up the hill. We needed to get about 10 or 12 more, and so we just all went to different places. At that point, we were having a hard time finding them everywhere. We need eight more? Yeah. Here comes Jen. Red team's about to bring it home. Austin's still hunting. Red team's gonna have to run. They gotta beat Kaylee and Austin up that hill. Come on. Finish strong. Kaylee's got two. Come on, come on. Austin, eight. How many you got, Austin? Four. Come on, Ken. Come on, make it up this hill. Green team, you finished. Here we go. Woo! All right, red team, you're finished. Good job. Wow! This week has definitely been a turnaround for the green team. No more throwing weigh-ins, no more underdogs for us. We're proving that we're a force to be reckoned with. Nice job, girl. It just goes to show you how strong Courtney and I are. If they didn't have the minute advantage, this challenge would have been won by Courtney and I, hands down. Right there. That Woo! is the black team finishes. Here we go. Ah. Blue team finished. Good job, guys. Good Congratulations to everyone for completing this challenge. You have won the opportunity to be part of an advanced screening of the movie Hop. Green Team, you get a very special prize. Each member of the Green Team will get two tickets to the world premiere of Hop. I've never been to a movie premiere. I've never been on the red carpet. I'm going to have to get kind of schnazzed up. It's going to be kind of cool. Congratulations to all the Green Team. And we have one more prize to give out today. The Golden Egg. Olivia, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and look at what's inside. Oh, oh my gosh. Wah, wah, wah. I have the only vote. How is this a prize? I need pounds or immunity, people. No immunity? Nope. As long as Blue Team does not lose the way in this week, you will have the only vote at this week's elimination. OK. You do not seem happy about that. No. I would never want to be in her shoes. If you have two of your best friends that are up for elimination, you have the only vote. Although, you know, now that I think about it, this could be good for me, because what if I'm up and then she can't vote for me? Oh, man. Huh. Good luck, you guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Knowing that you're going to be able to pick and choose on that losing team, that's a big responsibility, but it's a big opportunity. Coming up. Oh my God. The contestants get a big surprise at their movie screening. And later, what? Find out who's cheating on their diet. Hi guys. Oh my <laughs> God. We walk into the theater and James Marsden is standing right there in the front and oh, he's so gorgeous. He is sexy. What was that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how are you, James? I'm a big fan of James Marsden. I've watched a lot of his movies and it's really cool to see him and to actually meet him. Congratulations guys on uh, finishing the Hop Challenge. Yeah. Thank you. How was it? Great. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Now, who finished first in the hop challenge? Because you get something special. We did. Okay, well, you'll be coming to the premiere. How much weight have you lost? I've lost 78 pounds. 78 pounds? That's unbelievable. 89. Wow. wow. 114. 140. 144. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come on, applaud yourselves. That is unbelievable. You guys are an inspiration 
Well, listen, uh, I'm really excited to get to show you a special sneak preview of my new movie, Hop. It's coming out this Friday in theaters. You guys have a seat, enjoy the special sneak preview, and I'll see you around. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Nice Thank to you. meet you guys. Nice to meet you, too. 72! Conditioning is a must, Fred. 73! Ah, oh, this is fun. Just a couple of dudes hanging out, getting buff. I could do this all day. Me too, Fred. I feel great. Very impressive. But I bet you can go even faster. Way to go! But stay calm, Fred! Dogs can smell fear! And you've nothing to fear but fear itself! And this dog I'm riding on! <laughs> this movie is so cute, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. I think it's really cool that some of it is in real life and some of it is animated. It's, it's really cool, and I think that people are really going to love watching this movie. <laughs> What we don't want to do is fall below the yellow line. Oh. Trent, you ready to go home? No. Are you ready to go home? No. Are you ready to go home? No. Incline on a two, and I want you to go on a one-minute jog. Five, oh, let's go. The blue team has been given a huge gift this week. Olivia gets the only vote as long as we don't lose the way in. Hey, you guys, get on the Cybex arc. I'm going to make sure that the blue team does not lose this way in Come on, last chance, pop it. Hit me with 10. Olivia has the only vote this week. Obviously, Hannah is going to be safe. Three, push. Two, come on. So in this last chance workout, I got to focus on Rulin. I got to focus on Jay, since they're the two that are in jeopardy of getting eliminated this week. Uh, attack it. Attack it! Uh, I've definitely noticed that Rulin is kind of on another planet. I'm concerned about his focus, and in this last chance workout, I kind of bring him back to his home base of wrestling drills. I want the stuffing flowing out of that bag. Go! Uh! Mentally, something he's comfortable with will get him back on track. Uh! Three more, go! Rock and roll, baby! Uh! Kill it! You look like a great white shark breaching the water. It's unbelievable. Olivia's only vote this week. That's the one wild card. Come on, last chance. Let's go. Don't be nice, cute. <sighs> Two more. She has a trump card, and I'm pretty sure it's between me and Jay. And she would never send her sister home. <laughs> if I don't beat Jay and get immunity, there's a really good chance I could be going home this week. Last chance workout. Push, Kaylee. Harder than that. Break it. We have worked so hard all week. And we have to make sure that we're not going to have a repeat of last week's weigh-in. Come on. Harder. I definitely don't want to go through what we did last weigh-in. Push. Come on. Nobody's going home. We're just going to lay it all out on the table and do our best. Let's go. That's the green team attitude right now. Whatever happens, happens. Hard. Three. Week 13, and my body's better than it's ever been. Nobody's going home. Let's go. All right. Last chance workout. Let's go. Pull. Come on. I'm being able to push myself harder in workouts. Last chance workout. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's go. The more fit I get, the more difficult it is to actually keep the workouts as strenuous because I'm more and more capable. Go. Come on. But I'm looking at every workout as an opportunity to push myself. You just got here. You going home this week? No way. Come on, last chance. Get it up there. Go. Three more. Let's go. Rip it. Come on, two more. Rip, 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 rip. One more. All the way. All the way. This last chance workout is extremely important. It's the first one that I have where my weight is going to actually count for my team. Olivia's got the only vote, and she's not going to vote Hannah off. So Come on, Jay. Bye. I want to be the biggest loser on our team just to make sure I stay here. Last chance. Go! 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 You feeling good about the weigh-in? Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, redemption this week? You yeah. feeling to play straight, right? Sleep yep. two, good. Stay a fighter. Three, four. Push. Come on, Anna, last! Yes! Uh. Ah. I always get excited about last chance workouts because I always do stuff that we never do. I'm doing all this stuff that if someone was doing it in a gym, you would look at them and be like, that girl is bat crazy. Take ah. that banana! Ah. It's never gonna be easy but I'm loving it. Moses is going to blow up that scale. 15. I was Bob's project in this last chance workout. Down. 
Ah. Oh, good. Bob made it clear to me that I needed to pull big numbers. 7-0, right, Moses? 5-5. Five, five. Moses, pick up that speed. Bob tells me that I got to run at 7.0, and at that moment, I'm at a 5.5. Five. Oh, that's it. You're going to have a big weight loss, Moses. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Push. He believes I can do it. And in my head, I'm not sure whether I can. You called me the cardio king, and you're going to know why. 20 seconds. You got it. All I really can think of at this point is what happened the very first day. I just remember it being one of the worst days of my life. And what's amazing is how far I've come and that I can keep pushing. Last 15 seconds, go to 7-5. Good. Pick up speed. 10, 9, 8, 7. Bob, push that button up to a 7.5. And I had to finish it out at 7.5 in 15 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Off. And I made it. Right here, in position. Let's go. Last chance workout. Coming up at the weigh-in. Oh, my God. All of you guys have to realize, no matter how good it seems, it's not going to pay off. Hey, there you are. I was looking hey. for you. What's going on? I'm catching up on a few letters. Oh, really? Yeah. We haven't had a chance to talk about... Yeah. At the challenge this week, I found the golden egg, which had an individual prize. It was that I had the only vote at the elimination. The only way I'm really going to get to use it, I guess, is if black team or green team falls under. If black team right. falls under and you're anywhere involved in the mix, I've made it very clear to everybody that I will never write your name down. Whether I had an egg or not, I, I would never write your name down. I would always keep Hannah safe. And ha now that I have this power, that is something that it, it does make me feel very relieved. I mean, it makes me scared for myself, but it makes me feel relieved that at least I can keep her safe this week. The worst scenario for me would be if Jay and Rulin fell under together. You know, Jay is one of the original right. ranch people. And I know for a 100% fact that he would never write my name right. down. You think Rulon would, would ever write your name down? I right? say no, but then I just, there's some, a part of me that I just don't know because sometimes it's like, you'll go and it'll be great and then sometimes then he'll just be like sketchy. So I just don't know, I, I don't know. I love you. Love you. Well, this was certainly a week of discovery. Olivia discovered the golden egg at the challenge this week, which means as long as the blue team does not lose the weigh-in, Olivia will have the only vote at tonight's elimination. Of course, it may not matter. There are only two members of the red team, so if you lose the weigh-in tonight, one of you will be automatically eliminated. You were off campus all week. Jen, you chose not to see your trainer. You feel confident tonight? I feel good about tonight, yes. Courtney, how do you feel? I'm just scared because I know that my body's going through a lot of changes right now. I, I feel like I've hit a plateau, and I just feel like I needed that support this week. I mean, if I could go back and change it, I would, but I, I can't. So I'm going to stand up there on that, on that scale with confidence and hope that, you know, hope for the best. Brett, what was your first reaction when you found out what they had decided? You know, the first reaction was a frustration. I really care about these two girls a lot. They're under my watch. So it, the less control I have over keeping you two here, the more frustrated I get. Did I agree with your decision? No. But did I just support your decision? Yes. Let's see what happens on the scale. Let's get to tonight's weigh-in. Olivia, we're going to start with you. I pulled a five last week, so I was thinking, realistically, I probably was gonna pull like a three. Just because at my size, to pull big numbers like that week to week, I mean, it's just really hard, and you just don't know what your body's gonna let go of and how fast it's gonna let it go. Olivia, when you first started this competition, you weighed 261 pounds. Last week at the weigh-in, you weighed 180 pounds. Your current weight is.
I'll take a fork. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, Olivia. I'm excited, and there's a part of me that wants to kind of just like jump up and down and celebrate. I, I can't really do that yet. There are two more people on my team that have to weigh in, and I'm just hoping that maybe this is just the catapult for two more really awesome numbers for the blue team. I remember when you first weighed in with The Biggest Loser, you weighed 255 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 173 pounds. Your current weight is... Thank you. I lose three pounds. I guess that's a good number for me. Bob says that's a great number for me. <laughs> if Bob is good with it, I'm good with it. I just hope it's enough to not lose a land. Moses, let's get you on the scale. I need to make sure I have a good number. I've done well this week. I really pushed everything in my workouts, but I'm a little worried because last week I did the same thing and I only pulled a three. When you first started this competition, Moses, you weighed 440 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 300 pounds. Let's see if we can get you into the 200s tonight. Moses, your current weight is. When you first started this competition, Moses, you weighed 440 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 300 pounds. Let's see if we can get you into the 200s tonight. Moses, your current weight is. I'm very happy for that there. Uh, before we went home, I loved every moment I was here. And I came back, I just lost that, that feeling. And Jillian asked me if I wanted to box. And that's what I love to do. And after that workout, it was night and day from when I started to when I ended. And I love it here again. It seems to be working for you, Moses. Congratulations. You lost seven pounds, Moses, making the blue team's total this week 14 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.14%. Blue team, that's the number to beat. We're gonna weigh in the other three teams and see how you did. Remember, Olivia, as long as the blue team does not lose the weigh-in tonight, you will have the only vote at tonight's elimination. 14 pounds is good for Irene, Moses, and Olivia to lose, but I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be enough for the blue team to be safe. I can just only hope that it'll be enough. Next, we're gonna weigh in the green team. Green team, in order to beat the blue team and guarantee that you are safe and here for one more week, you need to have lost more than 15 pounds. Ken, you're gonna go first. Come on, Ken. My dad has become more consistent in his weight loss than anyone else on the ranch at this point. So as long as he can kind of stay in this, this groove he's in, he's gonna do well and he's gonna be doing well for our team. Ken, when you first started this competition, you weighed 377 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 263 pounds. Ken, your current weight is. 300. I'm really happy with six pounds, and it started our team off with a, with a good substantial number, and I think, I think we're gonna be fine. Austin, when you first started this competition, you weighed 396 pounds. Last week, you weighed it at 272 pounds. Austin, your current weight is. Thanks, Austin. Thank you. I'm nervous with Kaylee being up last. When you're going up last, you're either going to be the goat or the hero. Kaylee, let's get you up here. The past two weigh-ins I've had haven't been the greatest. I lost zero, and then I gained two the week before. So I definitely want to show that I'm going to work hard, and I, I want the scale to reflect that. Kaylee, when you first started this competition, you weighed 233 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 174 pounds. 
Kaylee, in order to keep the green team safe right now, you need to have lost more than two pounds. Your current weight is... I'm really happy with that number. Earlier this week, we watched a video from where we started from, and it really hit me a lot how far we've all come. And um, it, it just made me appreciate more what we have here. It's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Kaylee. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm so proud of Kaylee and my team tonight. We worked so hard, and it showed on the scale. They had a tough couple of weeks. But they pulled through tonight, and now we're forced to be reckoned with. Good job. Kaylee, you lost five pounds this week, making the green team's total 18 pounds, with a total percentage of weight loss of 2.54%. Congratulations, green team. You are safe. You will be here for one more week. Blue team, you are still in danger of elimination. Let's see if Olivia keeps that boat. Next, we're going to weigh in the black team. Black team, in order to beat the blue team and be safe from elimination, right now you need to have lost more than 16 pounds. Jay, we're going to weigh you in first. This weigh-in is the first one since I'm back on the ranch that really counts for my team. So for me, it really means a lot to set a good number up on the scale because that's why they brought me back. I was known as somebody that brought big numbers. Jay, when you first weighed in with The Biggest Loser, you were 400 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 282 pounds. Your current weight is... Well, not a great number. Last week, I got a seven. This week, I got a six. So the numbers are not going in the right direction. That's the lowest numbers I've ever had. So I'm going to need to take a, a new look at what I'm doing because that's not the direction I want to go. All right, Jay. You lost six pounds this week. Good job. OK, thanks. I get a six, which by many people's standards is fine. But I also want to be the biggest loser on the team tonight because you know, if we fall below the line, I'm going to go home because Olivia's not going to vote off Hannah. All right, black team, you've lost six pounds so far. You need to have lost more than 16 to beat the blue team and guarantee that you're safe. Next, we're going to weigh in Hulu. I'm pretty darn nervous because knowing that Hannah is going to be safe this week because Olivia has the only vote, there is uh, that pressure on me, and I know that if we lose the weigh-in, I'll be going home. Rulu, when you first started this competition, you weighed 474 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 330 pounds. Your current weight is... Black team, you've lost six pounds so far. You need to have lost more than 16 to beat the blue team and guarantee that you're safe. Hulu, last week you weighed in at 330 pounds. Your current weight is. I know it's getting harder every week. I two weeks of five in a row. I've been pushing every day and doing every workout every day. Mm -hmm. It's been brought to my attention that Rulin has not been on point with his diet. And I'm going to confront him. I'm going to bring the truth to light. And if he chooses to make a change, then he does. It's not up to me. Honey, I adore you. You eat a bunch of crap all the time. All I do is hear about it. In the middle of the night, you housed a bag of chips. I mean, it's like, I, I adore you. I told you what to do, but you're rogue. 
You're totally rogue. You do whatever you want all the time. It's a dude. You're not allowing me to help you. So, five. There we are. Can you take that? I have to. You know, I had some, uh, I had some tortilla chips you know, in my room. And, yeah, I'm not happy with it. I'm disgusted. You know, I want to be here. I want to earn the right to be here. And I think everybody should have to earn the right to be here. Right now, I haven't. Thank you. As Jillian called me out, uh, it hurt a little bit, but she doesn't want me just to go through the motions. She wants me to commit. And in my past, you know, the last few weeks, she's asked for 100% commitment, and I promised it to her, but then I, I kind of lapsed a little bit. I, I let myself make a few bad choices, and I think it, it did cost me on the scale. Everyone knows Rulon's eating habits aren't great. We see him graze on things that he probably shouldn't, but nobody wants to say anything to him. The guy's an Olympic athlete. He should know what he's doing, so we just kind of like, if anybody's going to know what to do, Rulon's going to know what to do, so nobody really calls him out on it. Jillian does, you know. And I'm glad she's calling him out versus us having to call him out. You lost five pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 11 pounds so far. You have one person left to weigh in, and that's Hannah. Remember, Hannah, the black team needs to have lost more than 16 pounds in order to beat the blue team and be safe from elimination right now. Let's get you on the scale. At our challenge this week, Olivia won the only vote at elimination. So that means tonight, if black team falls under, I will not be going home because obviously she's not going to vote me out. This vote came toward the end of the week, so it's not like I had immunity all week, but it's just given me a little bit of breathing room. Hannah, when you first started this competition, you weighed 248 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 172 pounds. You need to have lost more than five pounds in order to keep the black team safe. Your current weight is. I can't help but bring up that Olivia said there's one person on this campus that's safe this week. Well, I mean, I'm really, I'm, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Okay, Hannah, we'll have to see how it plays out. As I see Hannah pull a zero on the scale, I'm pretty convinced if we lose the way in, I'm going home. Blue team. Congratulations to the one team below you. You are definitely safe from elimination. You will be here for one more week, which means, Olivia, you will have the only vote tonight, as long as it's not the red team that loses this way. If the black team falls below, you will have a very simple choice between Hannah and Rulin, because Jay is the person with the highest percentage of weight loss on the black team this week. I don't want Jen or Courtney to go home, but then on the same token, I don't want to be the person that sends the Olympic gold medalist home. I don't want to be the person that sends Rulin home. So I, I don't know which way I want this to go. The percentage to beat is 1.4%. Red team, you need to have lost more than five pounds in order to beat the black team and keep both of you safe and here for one more week. Jen and I look at each other and we're like, we've got this, you know, we've, we've definitely got this. I feel like I've got this by, by myself. I mean, we're not going to have to pull a huge number to win this weigh-in, and so neither of us has to go home. Remember, there are only two of you on the red team. So if you lose this weigh-in, it will be an automatic elimination. One of you will have immunity, and the other will automatically be going home. Courtney, we're going to have you weigh in first. We haven't had a trainer the entire week, but I am confident that Jen and I did all that we could do. So I'm just hoping that we worked much harder than the other teams and our team is not the team to lose this way in tonight. Courtney, when you first started this competition, you weighed 323 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 234 pounds. Your current weight is. Knowing the strength of the red team of Courtney and Jen, I'm pretty sure that they're going to lose more than five pounds. I'm pretty confident that they're going to win. Coming up. 
The Biggest Loser Transformation Moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club. It's changing lives. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. The red team needs more than five pounds to be safe. Important your current weight is. In the 13 weeks I've known you, Courtney, you have been proud of every single pound. You don't seem proud now. I'm not proud. I'm, I'm seriously sick of this. And I know that I'm doing everything that I can do every single day. This was a week that I definitely needed to have a trainer, and I didn't. So I think that that was a horrible decision on my part, and I really wish that I could have spoken up about it, but I didn't. I obviously regret that. This is the one week Courtney needs a trainer more than anything else, and now look, she's paying the price right up there on the scale. Thank you, Courtney. All I can do is sit back and hope that Jen can pull a big enough number and save this team from elimination. So Jen, Courtney, the red team needs to have lost more than five pounds in order to be safe. If you don't do that, one of you will be automatically eliminated. If you do lose more than five pounds as a team, the black team will have lost this way in and it will be between Hannah and Rulin. And the only vote is Olivia's. They're sisters, Rulin. You know, it's, it's family, and you have to protect your family. And you know, I'd love to be here another week, but it's reality. All right, well, we'll have to wait and see, because we have one person left to weigh in tonight, and that is Jen. With Jen being one of the strongest competitors on The Biggest Loser this season, I'm pretty sure she can lose four pounds. And I'm going home. I have a lot of emotions running through my head. I want to show Brett we've got this and we're going to make him proud. Not only that, but I want to give Courtney that peace of mind that I'm going to pull a big number and we're going to be OK. Then when you first started this competition, you weighed 278 pounds. Last week, you weighed 187 pounds. You need to have lost more than three pounds in order to keep the red team safe. Jen, your current weight is. I see that zero come up on the scale. That was like pulling a dagger out of my heart and getting another chance to take another breath. I've learned a really big lesson. Tell me about it. You still have to rely on your trainers at this point. You know, you still do. That was my major mistake this week. Tough lesson for these guys to learn. She's put in a hell of an effort, I can tell you that. All of you guys have to realize there are temptations around every single corner. You will be tempted by massages and You've got to look through it. And no matter how good it seems, it's not going to pay off. Did it pay off, Jen? No. No. Red team, you have lost tonight's weigh-in. Courtney has the highest percentage of weight loss on the red team, which means, Jen, you are automatically eliminated. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. Jay, we'd love to hear from you before your daughter goes. I'm only here because Jen brought me here. And because she brought me here, she helped save my life. She is an amazing woman. I'm extremely proud of her. Her whole family and friends are, are so proud of her. Jen, since you first came to The Biggest Loser, you have lost 91 pounds. 
Don't forget, Jen, you are still in it for the at-home prize of $100,000, and we look forward to seeing you at the finale. Thank you. Thanks, Allison. I did not lose any weight this week. Honest to God, don't know where I went wrong. It just goes to show you, you might think you have it all together. You might think you know that you don't need your trainers. But that was a big, fat mistake that I made this week. I love you very much. All right, see ya. Bye, guys. Good luck. I love you guys. Tonight was a very hard lesson for Jen and Courtney. This is it. It's just Courtney and me now. I'm going to give her 100%. I expect her to give me 100%, because if it doesn't happen like that, there's no more red team. I came here very broken, wanting a second chance at life, at learning who I was. And having the opportunity to do that and seeing how far I've come. Oh, Jenny! Oh! It makes me feel like I can conquer anything in my life. There you go. Yes. Five kilometers for Jen. You are finished. And there is no gift in this world that I could ever have asked for with this opportunity and this second chance at life and happiness. Because I truly am, from the from the bottom of my heart, a happier, better person. Because the biggest loser. And I'm very thankful for that. When I started on the Biggest Loser campus, I weighed 278 pounds. Today I weigh 173 pounds. Since returning home, I have reached that 100 pound weight loss milestone. And I'm super proud of that. You have to touch the ground. Since I've been home, my brother has been one of my greatest supporters. He works out with me at the gym. He's side by side with me on the treadmill. I used to be his big sister. <laughs> and he used to be my little brother. Before you went to the ranch, how long do you think you would have lasted on this machine? My ass would have been on this machine before the ranch. <laughs> and now, you know, the tables have turned. <laughs> I'm actually smaller than him now. You look friggin' amazing. Thank you, Lane. You're welcome. Today's a really exciting day for me, and I'm gonna be doing something that I've wanted to really do my whole entire life, going clothes shopping with my girlfriends. I could never shop at the same stores that my girlfriends shopped at. People looking at me like, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be shopping here. You don't fit in the clothes. That's really Blue. cute. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So cute. That is really cute. Seeing her pick up something and just feeling great in it and trying it on and coming out and showing us, it's just so much fun. Awesome. Oh my lord. I love this. I'm really experiencing life through a whole different set of eyes, really. Nothing in my life is holding me back. And now that I have this newfound lease on life, the possibilities for me are endless.